I think this morning there was like 500 or 550 French breads. And then that doesn't include the larger, the small rye, the pumpernickel, the Russian rye, all the other breads that we might produce, the Kaiser rolls. Good morning. How are you? I'm Esther Erdesey, and I am president and owner of the Egypt Star Bakery of Allentown, Pennsylvania. No matter where you go, everyone usually has heard of Egypt Star Bakery. They know about our hearth baked rolls and our breads, and uh, that's what we're really known for here in the Lehigh Valley. We have approximately 40 employees. We have bakers, bakers helpers, drivers, clerks, and actually, no matter what job you have, if you're needed someplace else, you're expected to go there and do whatever is needed. That's part of a small business. And I know by the number of applications that I do get or people calling asking if we have a full-time position available because they might have lost their job or um, have been, their hours have been cut considerably or maybe even their benefits have been cut and so they're looking for some place where they can uh, acquire those things. We don't lay people off, they usually have their jobs, their hours might get cut a little bit during the summer when our load isn't quite as heavy but normally our employees are here to stay. There are weeks we live paycheck to paycheck like everyone else, but we've been fortunate that um, I guess maybe people come to us instead of paying the higher prices at the bigger chained grocery stores. So they come here and they figure they can have just as good a quality and not pay as much price-wise. Money is very tight right now. Banks aren't too interested in loaning you money right now. You just tighten your belt or as an owner you don't take a paycheck to, so that you can see that all of your employees have been paid. I'm pretty happy. I mean, the, the economy has been sluggish, but the bakery, we've not taken much of a hit. Well, my girlfriend and I moved up here, and I got a job up here, and now she's my wife. And working here has allowed us to save up the money to afford a house. I owe it all to this bakery. My hope is that we can continue to bake and to sell and to service the public uh, with the kind of products that they're used to. You just don't open the paper and, and see a job listed there for super critical fluid technician. No, 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 <laughs> we are the manufacturers of supercritical fluid extraction equipment here in Allentown. Supercritical fluid is an excellent replacement for many of the petroleum-based solvents that we have. We are on the cusp of using this technology to have a, a much greener world. These are all green technologies. These are renewable technologies. The mere fact that we're under pressure to go ahead and clean up the environment, that everyone has, has pretty much said that this will cause job loss. Well, the problem with that assumption is that if you've got a replacement for that, those jobs will be taken up plus this particular technology was all new to me. I knew virtually nothing of it. And I was fortunate to live close enough. I came in and things worked out. That's how I'm here. I got laid off from another company and it was good that, uh, that this company uh, was able to start up right here uh, in the Lehigh, right here in the Lehigh Valley, you know, and provide lots of opportunities for, uh, for technical people, you know, to work, so. I'm actually uh, wiring a, a Helix control cabinet is what we call it. This actually applies all of the voltages to the necessary heaters in the in the units. My previous job was repairing televisions, VCRs, all kinds of uh, electronic equipment basically. So this is all new. This was this was all new to me when I started here. More and more people will become aware of this and then as we make the equipment here, this will then trickle down to the jobs of ordinary people in Allentown. Most of our employees are from the, the local community and uh, have, have a high school education or less. And we've gone through and trained those people in specific jobs so that they can contribute to this high-tech industry. Success is not achieved by hard work. Success is achieved by smart work. And I think that's kind of what we've gone ahead and tried to do here.